Hey, Gladys, how are you? Gladys, how was your day? Hello. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Uh, it was it was a normal day. A normal not day. good, not bad. Okay. All right. Do you uh, um, do you work, Gladys? Yes, I work at home. Okay. And what do you do, Gladys? I I forget. Uh, I make uh, artisanal bracelets. Can you show me? Do you have any to show? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold a second. Oh, well, I have some that I'm doing actually right now, like this. Okay, very it's very thin. Yes, it's with little yeah. beads, right? Little, little yes, plastic. Yeah. Those are plastic. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And Gladys, where do you sell them or how do you sell them? Uh, I work for a company. I just made the bracelets and they sell them uh, in the United States and in any country that has internet. No way. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's yeah. pretty. That's pretty interesting. It's like an. Um, mm -hmm. it, do you know the name of the company? Is like Etsy. Or. Uh, it actually is Pura Vida. Pura Vida, like, oh, so it must be from Costa Rica. Yes, it's supposed that uh, the worker, the, the, the employers are from Costa Rica, but actually are from El Salvador. Ah, okay. Well, that's a very interesting way to get a job, Gladys. Um, yes. That's pretty cool because you can stay at home, spend time with your family, and still have money, right, which is, which is a cool thing. Yeah, it is exactly. What about um, how many bracelets do you have to do a day or I don't know, a, a, a week or? Because I imagine, um, I imagine you work by bracelet, not by time, right? Yes, um, hundreds and hundreds. It depends on how complicated is the bracelet. And how, how do you know how to make them? They give you the design or they trained you or yes, you, you already knew how? Yes, I, um, I've been working on the company, at the company for three years now. So I actually know all the designs. So yes, and they also send us pictures and videos to guide us how to make them. Pretty cool, Gladys. It's it's very interesting. Very, very interesting. You should think about doing it yourself. And if you already have the skills, you know, maybe maybe make and sell yourself. Uh, yes, there there is a contrato de privacidad. Contrato de privacidad. Uh, Acuerdo de privacidad. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a, a privacy yeah. agreement. Yes. Agreement. Yes, it's it. So we can we can't actually do that. Okay, yeah, to make sure that you don't do it to you know to make extra money or sell it or something. Mm, yes, exactly. Okay, do you know like you? There's a women in Komasawa. In Komasawa, they do something similar, but they don't do bracelets. They do uh, paintings. They do uh, uh, pictures uh, made from flowers. Oh, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in Komasawa, mm -hmm. they take, um, they go into the forest or in the area because there's a lot of flowers and they take all the mm -hmm. flowers and then they cut them and they make them into designs and they, they put them in pictures and cool. they, and then they export them to different companies or to different countries. The, the biggest exporter is, for example, to Germany and to the U.S. and so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are, are really interesting things to do, like handicraft and those kind of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the good thing is that if you know you can do it anytime if you're at two o'clock in the morning and you can't sleep ah, i do a few bracelets or something yes exactly it depends on on the person mm -hmm. yeah okay well gladys thank you very much for uh telling me a little bit about what you're doing your job which is is very interesting because it's it helps us a little bit for today um now gladys was describing a lot of her actions and her activities but yesterday our grammar our focus was the passive and yesterday we were looking at how to change the focus so how can i do that how can i change the focus i don't want to focus on gladys if I want to tell someone else, I want to focus on the project that Gladys is doing, the activity that Gladys is doing, the job opportunity that Gladys has. How can I use the information Gladys gave me into the passive? Remember yesterday, we have a couple of things that are always obligation. How can I do that? You can do it referring to the objects. Okay, all right, so in this, this, uh, okay, so in this case, what was the object that Gladys was explaining? Let's review. Let, Gladys was explaining something about how to do some bracelets. Okay, exactly. Okay, very good. Eric is correct. The first thing, the first word in the sentence is bracelets or the bracelets for Gladys because that's that was what she said. Okay, good. That's that's part of the structure. What else did we learn yesterday? First, we start with the object, and then what do we need? The form of the verb to be. Excellent, Maria, the form of the verb to be. In this case, the bracelets, plural, what form of the verb to be do we use? Are. Are, are made. Excellent, someone, someone else said it. I heard somebody say it. Are made? Uh-huh. Are oh, made. Yes. Exactly, and then if we want to include, by Gladys, but that's, that is the passive, okay? So why do we use this and how do we use it? It's very important because exactly like in our conversation with Gladys, imagine that I want to tell medium, I want to tell Andrea, Andrea says, I need a job, my sister needs a job, my brother, oh, well, you know medium, you know Andrea, that bracelets are made at home, Okay, bracelets are made at home and sent or sold to different companies. And then I can put by whatever the name of the company or by Gladys or whatever in case to give you. But that is how we use it because we give what, what we are interested in is what is happening, how the things are done or what is done with the objects. Like when I explain to Gladys, I say Komasawa. Okay, so uh, in the case, I, I use the active, ah, eh, the same thing happens in Komasawa, but in the passive, okay, eh, pictures are created with flowers, are created uh, by cutting designs. Um, I don't, all of them are hanging up, otherwise I'd show you. I, ha I have some from Komasawa because I, I think they're really pretty, but they're, you know, it's, it's really interesting, all of the different ways that we can use it and how the passive functions. But the main idea, the reason that we use the passive is because we are focused on the object. We don't care so much the person. In this case, we know Gladys and it's important because we are focused. It's nice that she's doing it, but maybe we don't, somebody else we are telling, our family member, our friend, they don't care who Gladys is. They only want to know how to make the money. How do I make money from my home? What is the project? What is the activity? And for this, you need to use the passive because you need to focus on what is being done to the object, okay? How it's done. Is it the pictures or the bracelets or, you know, whatever else, uh, sometimes crochet or, th there are many different things that people use, right? But this is the idea, okay? I don't know if that helps you a little bit with the idea of the Sorry, I don't know if that helps you with a little bit with the idea of the passive that we saw yesterday. Okay. It's very clear. Okay, I think the, the, the most interesting part of the passive is probably, or the hardest part is just practicing it. Okay? Yeah. Just changing, changing from active sentences into passive sentences. And because I think that is the one that is the hardest, that's what we're going to practice in this moment with our partners, 
we are going to so, and we are going to practice uh, making sentences from active to passive. For this, it's on 4.4. If you are in your platform, I'm going to share with you in this moment, just to make sure. Which, which uh, number did you say? This one right here, 4.4, 4. 4. 4. 4, exactly, 4.4. 4. Yeah, yeah. The knowledge check, and in the knowledge check, we can see we have several sentences. Is this one is, we are lucky, we have opportunity, not just one or five, or, or sometimes they only have six. And here we have 12 different sentences that we can practice. And the same thing that we did with the example for Gladys. We are changing the active sentence, and we are going to, we're going to make them, sorry, we are making them into passive sentences, okay? So the idea is all of these need to be passive. Let's do number one as an example to be sure that we are clear, okay? Now, Eric and Marie and then I think it was Claudia all mentioned how to use it. Remember, focus on the object, use the verb to be, and the key is past participle. Always remember the third one is past participle. So one more time, focus the object, then decide the verb to be, and last is the past participle, okay? So let's take a look at number one. Okay, to complete the script, it has to divide into scenes. We're talking about movies. The topic here is movies. So what can we say? Be divided. It has to be divided. Divided. Okay, so we're going to use the verb just be, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and the past tense of divide or the past participle? Divided. 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 Okay, and that's it. And then with our partners, we, after we finish them, we can go ahead and we check. And then it is, hey, we are correct. We have 2.75 points. Now you only need to finish the other 30 points. <laughs> so now you have the idea. I, I give you enough points. Now you, you collect the other 30 points with your partners.